Open Access and Open Educational Resources at the University of Rhode Island. Open Access Literature is digital, online, free of charge, and free of most copyright and licensing restrictions. Thus, Open Access removes price barriers, like subscription fees, licensing fees, and pay-per-view fees, and permissions barriers, that is, most copyright and licensing restrictions. The open access movement has primarily targeted peer-reviewed journal literature, although a growing number of other scholarly outputs are being made available open access, such as books, dissertations, datasets, and computer code. Open access benefits readers by giving them barrier-free access to the literature they need for their research. Open access scholarship can be read for free and in most cases reused. Reuse could include distributing to colleagues or students for shared discussion, extracting illustrations or figures for use in one's own work, or performing text and data mining on a body of literature to gain insights into the content. Open access also benefits authors because authors want their work to be read and to have impact. Studies have shown a citation advantage for OA articles ranging from 45% to over 500%. Really, open access benefits everyone. It accelerates the production of new knowledge and thus progress towards solutions to the world's problems. Authors have different options for making their work available open access. They can make the final manuscript version of their articles available in an open access repository. This is known as Green OA. The Directory of Open Access Repositories, or Open Door, is an authoritative directory of academic open access repositories. Or, Authors can publish in open access journals that make articles freely available immediately upon publication, usually with an open license. This is known as Gold OA. The DOAJ, or Directory of Open Access Journals, is an online directory that indexes and provides access to quality open access peer reviewed journals. In 2013, the University of Rhode Island faculty passed an open access policy. With the open access policy, faculty authors granted the university permission to make their research articles available to the public at no charge through URI's institutional repository, Digital Commons at URI. For more information, see our guide to the OA policy. The University of Rhode Island Open Access Fund reimburses authors from the URI community who do not have other sources of funding available and who want to publish in open access journals that charge publication fees. Know that not all open access journals charge publication fees. As of mid-2018, only about 25% of journals listed in the DOAJ charged fees, though about half of all OA articles are published in fee-collecting journals. For more information, see our guide to the URI OA Fund. Open educational resources are education materials that can be freely downloaded, edited, and shared to better serve all students. OER advocate David Wiley states that only education materials licensed in a manner that provide the public with permission to engage in the 5R activities can be considered OER. These are retain. This is permission to make, own and control copies of the content, for example, download, duplicate, store, and manage. Reuse. This is permission to use the content in a wide range of ways, for example, in a class, in a study group, on a website, or in a video. Revise. This is permission to adapt, adjust, modify, or alter the content itself. For example, translate the content into another language. Remix. This is permission to combine the original or revised content with other material to create something new. For example, incorporate the content into a mashup. And redistribute. This is permission to share copies of the original content, your revisions, or your remixes with others. For example, give a copy of the content to a friend. 
education is fundamentally about sharing knowledge and ideas, so it makes sense that learning resources should also be shared. Open educational resources benefit students by saving them money at a time when the costs of education keep increasing. The price of commercial textbooks has risen at more than three times the rate of inflation for decades. OER materials are free online and affordable in print. Furthermore, by providing students with better access to the learning materials they need to succeed, OER has been shown to improve learning outcomes. OER benefits faculty because they can tailor learning materials to fit the needs of their own students, for example by remixing materials to fit their own syllabus, aligning material with local learning outcomes, or modifying content to make it accessible to students with disabilities. Faculty working with open materials can also improve them, for example by correcting errors or updating content, and they can share OER with other educators around the world. The Affordable Course Materials Task Force is charged with reviewing the use of affordable course materials at URI, including open educational resources and other lower and zero-cost options. Also, with developing tools to encourage and simplify adoption of open course materials and developing ways to support and encourage faculty and students to better integrate and effectively use affordable materials to support course learning. Adopting open educational resources is one of a number of approaches to reducing costs to students and increasing pedagogical freedom that are promoted by the task force. Others include placing learning materials on reserve in the library, adopting library resources that have already been purchased by the university, reducing the number of textbooks used and or using older editions of textbooks, and using faculty and department produced instructional materials without open licenses. URI's efforts are part of a statewide open textbook initiative that in 2016 challenged Rhode Island's higher education institutions to reduce college costs by saving students $5 million over five years by using open licensed textbooks. With regard to both open access scholarship and open educational resources, it is important to remember that free is good, but open is better. Research and teaching materials with an open license, such as a Creative Commons license, can not only be read for free, but they can be reused, remixed, and redistributed. If you are a faculty member who creates instructional materials for your classes, you own the copyright in those materials according to URI's intellectual property policy. You are free to license them openly so that they can be shared with and built upon by others. Open access scholarship and open educational resources are connected in a number of ways. They are both informational materials used for research, learning, and education. They are both created without expectation of payment to make the world a better place. They both are free to use and rely on open licenses that allow for reuse. Creative Commons licenses are the most popular open licenses for OA and OER around the world. Creative Commons licenses can provide the permissions needed to reuse an open access work. In fact, the Creative Commons CC BY license is considered the license of choice for articles published in open access journals. Some of the organizations that have endorsed the CC BY license for OA scholarship are the Open Access Scholarly Publishers Association, Spark Europe, the Directory of Open Access Journals, and the Budapest Open Access Initiative. Creative Commons licenses may also be used for OER. All of the CC licenses except for the two no derivatives or ND licenses are appropriate for OER, as is CC0. Members of the Open Textbook community advocate for using the CC BY license for open textbooks because it is easy to understand and follow and it allows for the greatest number of remix options. Thank you for watching this video. Here's a list of the sources I consulted to create it. And here is a list of credits for the images I used on the slides.
This is the end.